Hello, this is Dan from TrueTrader.net with a recap for March 9th to March 13th. This was a pretty volatile week. We had two limit down days back to back and one limit up day, which was today. Now, when the market volatility increases like this, one or two things happen. Most traders blow up. Some traders make home run wins, and that's awesome, but really, um, that's kind of like, in my opinion, gambling. If you're putting all your money on the line, betting in one direction, and you're fully just all in on a market move, right? Now, that can work sometimes, but in my opinion, the best way to trade markets like this that are very volatile is to be selective. So this week, we were very selective and we stayed very safe and that ended up making us all green winning trades. So pretty safe week, pretty steady. No crazy 1,000% winners, obviously, but just those steady, consistent base hits that add up and build the account. That's what this week was all about. Not trying to go all in YOLO, predict the market, but rather waiting for the market to make its move and then reacting once the move has been made taking the other side of, of most traders' positions. And if you know anything about trading, most traders lose. So the way we're able to have an edge in this market is to take the other side of most traders' positions while waiting for the market to come down to our levels. That's the absolute easiest way and safest way to trade, again, in my opinion, this market. So first trade of the week was on SYNH. SYNH on the 9th. SYNH on the 9th, on Monday, on the limit down day, SYNH prior close was at 62s, okay? Then next day opens 58s, falls 15 points, gets halted. So my eye is on SYNH. Opens off the halt, massive volume comes in, and buyers are just sweeping the offers, buy, 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 buy. So I jumped in at 47.20 and sold at 49.70. One minute later, two points. I was, I was like, okay, that's an easy predictable trade, right? Um, obviously in hindsight should have held that thing, went up back into prior closing price, but who could have predicted that? The easy and predictable trade was just a two point move and two points on a $40 stock, you know, that's a pretty good percent return. That's about 3%. So not bad for a one minute trade, 3% in a minute. I take that. So that was our only trade for Monday, March 9th. Now moving forward to March 10th, Tuesday, we took INO. INO was a pretty nice one as well. Let me cancel these alerts real fast. Going to March 10th. We caught the low on the INO. INO came up from mid and high 10s into low 7s and high 6s. So what happened was INO came down, got halted, and then off the halt had a washout, and we were watching to buy this for a reversal, considering how much it came down in such a quick period of time. So I know we got long at 6.88, right over here on the washout, pretty much near the low. And then a few minutes later, we sold it for 50 cents and the last piece for right below $1 in the high sevens. It was all done, I know. That's a pretty nice trade, made about 8% over there, again, within just about two minutes. Pretty phenomenal. Next was KMB on March 12th. Dun, dun, dun. KMB, March 12th got short KMB at 130.24. The market was pushing, but KMB was a little bit too high relative to where the market was at that moment. So it was a no brainer short, got short KMB 130.24 and covered on the washout in the low 128 for two points. That was March 12th, only one trade for that day. Going forward to today, Friday, March 13th, one trade on my side, which was on CSX. On CSX, we got short at 58.52 on this pop. I mean, in this market environment, these gaps are bound to have a reaction to the opposite side before moving higher or lower into the close. Got short at 58.52 with the plan to add at 60.8. I wish that came would have had more size, but that was okay. Got short 58.5 to a starter and covered at 57.50s. Only made one point, but I was staying safe, conservative, and taking the easy money. I was hoping we can get a push up into 60s. 
for more size and more meat on the bone but 58.5 to 57.5 again one point just those consistent base hits is what builds the account no need to go and risk all your money in this environment that's very very dumb in my opinion and very risky there's no reason to do that just take those consistent easy base hits half an hour a day and walk back out take your chips and get out of here you know that's the way to do it now today our moderator adriano on vuzi for those who trade smaller price stocks he got long vuzi 1.27 and sold for 10 cents at 1.37 just a quick trade but still a 10 cent gain a high probability 10 cent gain it was on the news piece it was up on the news piece so quite high probability nice volume 1.27 to 1.37 he took that trade and was all done within a few minutes over there a few members caught this as well um, went up to almost 1.5s so again there's no need to go for 20 to 50 percent moves home runs taking all these options trades that's all crazy it's just that's a mess how i'm surviving this market and actually thriving is i've lowered my size i've been a lot more selective and i'm being patient for the trades that just make sense anyways that was our week all winning trades i wish you all a wonderful weekend and i'll see you monday